In Power Query, you encounter two types of errors, the step level error and the cell level error. A step level error prevents the query from loading and usually displays the error as download did not complete. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most commonly triggered step level errors that prevents our query from downloading, which is the column of the table wasn't found. This error occurs when a step makes a direct reference to a column name that doesn't exist in the query. The steps we're going to take a look at are the changed type step and removed column steps that cause the column of the table wasn't found errors and how to prevent them going forward. Here we have some sales data. Let's load this into Power Query. Let's select from table or range. Select my table has headers and select OK. And this takes us to Power Query. Here in the Power Query editor, under the applied steps, we can see that Power Query has already done a change type step for us. So it automatically detected what the data type should be for the data in each column. So for example, this ABC icon here means that Power Query detected that the sales rep column is text. You can click on this icon to see all the various data type options. Let's leave this as text. Then if we look at column one, this shows null values. This column is a result of the product column that had column D and E merged. And when you bring it into Power Query, it automatically splits the columns. So we don't need column E. Let's select it, right click and select remove. So in our applied steps, we have our source, change type, and removed columns. Let's send this back to Power Query. Everything looks fine in the report Power Query generated for us. Column 1 has been removed. Our order date column shows our data as date and time, but that's fine for now. Let's go back to our source data and change a column name. Let's change sales value to sales price and hit refresh. And we get this expression error. The column sales value of the table wasn't found. And we can see that our download did not complete. So this is definitely a step level error. Let's double click on this error. And here in Power Query, we're taken to the error displayed in a yellow pane. And if we look at the applied steps, we're still on the last step, which was removed columns. Let's click on Go to Error. And our applied steps moves to the Change Type step. So our error originates in this step. Let's click on Source. And we can see our data is still fine and without errors. And if we scroll to the right, our sales price column is here. Remember, we changed sales value to sales price. So when Power Query did the change type, that's when the error occurred. Why? One of the reasons for errors is when we perform a step that hard codes the data in the applied steps. So when Power Query did the change type step, it hard coded the name sales value in the step. So when Power Query gets to this step, it searches for the column sales value, and as it can't find it, it breaks the query. Let's click on this down arrow in the formula bar, and you can see all the column names that were hard-coded in this change type step. Now, you could just find sales value and change it to sales price here in the formula bar, or you can rather remove the change type step here in applied steps by Xing it out. Let's click on delete. Change type is removed and our query is fixed. So if we look at our applied steps, we have our source and our removed columns, which is for when we removed column one. Let's close and load. And our report in Excel correctly shows our sales price column. Let's scroll to the order date column and we decide we actually want this to only show the date and not the time. And yes, you're right. For this, we will need to perform a change type step. Let's go back to Power Query and scroll to our order date column. Click on the data type icon and change this to date. And we have our date only, 
and we have our change type step here. Let's send this back to Excel. And we can see that our order date column is correct. Now let's see what moving the change type step to the end of our query did if we change some more column names in our source data. Let's change customer first name to just first name and customer last name to just last name and hit refresh. Our query didn't break and it correctly updated our report with the new changes. So I would recommend performing your change type step at the end of your query and only on the columns that require the change type to reduce the number of times you hard code your data in your applied steps. You can also switch off the automatic change type step in file, go to options and settings and click on query options and here in data load is type detection and you can see that detect column types and headers for unstructured sources according to each file setting is selected. Let's instead click on never detect column types and headers for unstructured sources and click on OK. So now when you send your data to Power Query, there is no automatic change type step. Just remember to add your change type step when you need it as close to the end as possible. The other step level error that prevents the query from loading and displays the error the column of the table wasn't found is the removed column step. Let's see how this happens and how we can fix it. But before we do that, I'd just like to say that I hope that you're enjoying this video and I would really appreciate it if you could buy me a coffee. The link to this is in the description below. For those who don't know, I work a full-time job and make these videos on weekends and before and after hours. The caffeine boost will definitely help me through those late nights and early hours. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get back to our video. Let's send this data to Power Query. Select from table or range. Remember to check my table has headers and click on OK. We know that we should rather have the change type step at the end. So let's X that out. In this query, we don't want the cells order number and order date columns. So click on cells order number to select it. And while holding the control key, click on order date to select it also, and then press delete to remove these two columns. Now we can perform our change type step. Press control A to select all your data. Then in the transform tab, Click on Detect Data Type and Power Query automatically detects the data for each of your columns. So our change type is at the end, which is what we would prefer to reduce the number of errors. Our data looks good. Let's send this back to Excel. Now let's say in our source data, someone changed cells order number to just order number. This column isn't part of our final query, so the name change shouldn't affect our report. So let's hit on refresh, but we get another expression error. The column cells order number of the table wasn't found. Let's take a closer look to find out why. Click on go to error and Power Query takes us to the removed column step. So this is where the error originates. If we look at the formula bar, we can see that cells order number and order date have been hard coded in this removed column step. If we go to source, everything is still fine. So let's X out the removed column step and our query is error free again. Instead of using remove column, we should rather use remove other columns as this would hard code the columns we want to keep. Whereas remove columns hard codes the columns we don't want to keep. Let's go back to our source and click on sales value, hold down the control key and click on customer first name and customer last name. Right click and select remove other columns and click on insert to insert the step. And we can see it's inserted after source. And if we look at our formula bar, we can see that the three columns we want to keep have been hard coded. If you click on the gear icon next to the removed other columns, it opens up this choose other columns dialog box. So if you have a lot of data, you can rather use this to choose the columns you want to keep. 
Now let's send this back to Excel. So now if we want to change sales order number to just order number, and if we refresh our query, it doesn't break. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to check out more Power Query videos, please check out these videos right here.